啦啦。Everyone, right now on Peepsville, it's 9:41 a.m. on Friday, July 3rd, 2020. For some time now, Nook Inc. has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. I am pleased to announce that, based on their findings, the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming. What's more, the water itself is clear and clean, which are the perfect conditions for underwater diving. For everyone's safety, we ask that you please use the proper swimwear if you plan to enter the water. You can purchase a wetsuit at either the shop or Nook shopping. Oh, I can't wait to see folks out there diving, playing, and splashing the appropriate amount, of course. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Hello, peeps, and welcome back to Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Welcome back. To Peepsville, it's July third, and do you know what that means? Wave one of the summer update has been released, and I'm excited. I can't wait to play it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, look. Let's have a look outside here. It's um, do you know it's overcast again? It's been raining so much in Peepsville uh, of late. I just I don't really know what to make of it. To be honest with you, it's been it's been somewhat crazy. Um, you might be wondering where have the episodes been all week? Well, in real life, I was uh, suffering from uh, extreme tooth pain, and uh, the dentists are not open at the moment uh, due to uh, the pandemic. So I've had to just sort of suffer it through, um, but uh, the pain is now at more manageable levels. So thank goodness. Um, one, just because I've not been able to sleep and it's been horrific and painful and horrible, but also. Because I really, really wanted to be good for the summer update, and I am. Hello, Mr. Daddy Kichi. Hello, Mr. Daddy Kichi. Um, right. So, um, yeah, things have been happening. Um, over the few days, I managed to uh, log on for minimal uh, amounts of time each day. Um, one to uh, keep on upgrading Zuki's house. Um, so. And that's been going really well, actually. I think we are now due one more. Um, I think today she will have the upstairs, um, so uh, I will give her the remaining money that she needs in order to uh, upgrade it to include the basement. And then that house is uh, upgraded. We need to get it customized, uh, and then we can uh, start working on all the things we're going to be putting in there. Uh, the one I'm very keen to do sooner rather than later is, of course, um, Blathers Place. I've been very excited to do that for the longest um, of times. I've noticed that Punchy uh, has been writing to Zuki. He wrote um, a very interesting letter to her recently, uh, congratulating her on her house upgrades. Um, he seems to struggle somewhat uh, with the word congratulations. Um, <laughs> it was a delight to read. Really enjoyed that letter. Uh, in fact, Punchy has been really enjoying the the summer atmos uh, recently. He has been looking very cool. Um, he's a very smooth character at the moment, Punchy. Uh, I've I've been uh, I've been enjoying it uh, muchly. Um, and what else? Oh yes, Red finally showed up at the port. It was really nice to finally see a ship at port. Um, and uh, I did order something from him, so we will uh, be checking that out. Um, and there has been a little bit of uh, fish and insect catching, but I've tried to actually keep that right down. Um, because I wanted to do um, the vast majority of that on camera today because there is so much to do. There's so much to do and I want to share it with you guys because too much has been happening without peeps around and it makes me sad, frankly. Um, so, <clears throat> yes. Also, I have masses and masses of posts piling up outside in the letterbox which I have been dying to open. Um, so really looking forward uh, to that as well. I like that every time we come in here, these uh, cloths have changed because I'm messing around with whatever that graphic is. <laughs> and it has changed once again. Okay, uh, yeah, better get ready for today. Um, even though it's looking overcast, I'm not going to worry about it too much because um, from what I understand, we might be going for a little bit of a swim. Yes! <laughs> Ah, this is my 
protest against the rain clouds look. <laughs> it's summer and I'm going to try and enjoy it. Um, well, uh, actually, there's quite a lot in my inventory. I'm thinking I should probably clean that out because look at all this. <gasps> We've got lots of things from Peeps. And look, I've also just got a bunch of things I need to open. Um, and more from Brina. I've been chatting with Brina. Um, and uh, yeah, got some surprises. <gasps> you know that summer has arrived when you can hear the cicadas. Bunny, don't scare it. Don't scare it. Don't don't scare it. We won't catch that one now. We'll uh, we'll catch them later. That's what we'll do. Right, I'm going to clear out my inventory a little bit, uh, and then we'll open the post. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. <gasps> right, I am ready. I'm ready. Let's see here. Um, right, let's let's start with uh, these ones. Um, so from uh, oh yeah yeah label also showed up. Um, and wanted um, a fairy tale outfit. Um, so I put on my paper crown and a princess dress. Um, and she seemed to like it. Um, so it seems here that we may have got um, some tickets. She gave me some label shorts. Yeah, look. She gave me some label shorts. Um, which uh, I did uh buy in the shop the next day um so oh look we had some interest from the bank of nook very good sprinkle sometimes when i'm writing notes like this one I, uh, I you know forget what i was writing and it just goes nowhere for a while and the next thing i know i've sent it does that ever happen to you <laughs> bless up something from mum the cicadas cry into the morning light, awakening the world with a concophonous symphony. Uh, your mother cries out as well, uh, lamenting her lack of sleep. <laughs> oh no, but I like the cicadas, mum. Okay, let's have a, a look here. <gasps> Plushy? We're getting plushies from mum now? <gasps> Oh my god, it's the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Look at it. <gasps> I bet people are pairing this up with the doghouse and the uh, the dog bowl, right? I bet that's what's happening. I like the idea of using um, that little skeleton uh, fossil one. Uh, I find that more amusing. But I bet, I bet a lot of people will be using uh, this one because, oh my god, it is adorable. <gasps> oh my god. Goodness, I bet there's loads of different versions as well. Oh, we're going to have to try and get them all. Um, right. Oh, yes. So, I did get a treasure from Red. And you know what? I'm not even sure if it's genuine or not. Um, I just really like it. And I thought, if it's not genuine, um, I, I, I can still use this around town. Um, but, yeah, there it is. The ancient statue. So... Need to see about getting that into Nook. And um, I want to see as well about getting... Uh, we caught a load of stuff in June, which we've been displaying outside the museum. It's time to get all that inside the museum because, of course, the July collection is coming. Um, right. Uh, so we can uh, we can do all of that. Oh, something from Nintendo. Thank you for downloading the update. Pfft, you're welcome. Uh, we'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Please keep an eye out for future updates as well. Thank you. Thank you. What is it? What is it? <gasps> Snorkel mask. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be red. Still, it's very, very cool. I suspect we're going to need this, aren't we, to go diving? <gasps> it's so going to rain. I'm going to be diving in the rain, guys. <laughs> um, oh, I was hoping I was going to get a red one. I, I presume there are different colours. They always do lots of different versions, don't they? So I presume uh, that... Uh, hang on a minute, where's, oh yeah, no, that's it, yeah, yeah, swap, swap them out, that's it, nice, um, right, um, and then Nook Shopping, oh, okay, oh, some new, oh, there's new stuff in the Nook Shop, oh, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay, right, okay, let's just calm down, let's just calm down, right, let's see what peeps have been sending me, oh, we've got a couple here from Ashley, beautifully wrapped, hi, Blala, here is a termite mound. <gasps> More termite mounds! Oh, two of them as well. That is amazing. Thank you so much. <gasps> I haven't seen them do anything yet. 
but I'm hoping at some point in the future the termite mounds will become active. I wonder if it's a seasonal thing, a time of day, or I don't know, I don't know. Um, and then we've got a couple here from Brina. This is something that you will be able to use <gasps> this astrological month. Oh my goodness. So, of course, I've been missing all the showers. And I think this one here from Brina is, yeah, is Celeste. Um, is this uh, astrological sign item? <gasps> I think Brina has been an absolute star and has sent me the star fragments as well so that we can build it. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I've been panicking because... Um, I just haven't been able to make any of the the showers and then I was ill and oh my god it's just been awful. Um beautiful pink from Sam May. Congrats on 7000 subs. You're a little ahead of the game there, Sammy. I don't have 7000 subs. I have 6000. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very very much. I wonder what we have here from Sammy. Uh boom Prezi. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much. And then we've got some here from Caroline in the beautiful orange and teal. Uh, this is to help keep your dock safe. Interesting. Mm, I shall be looking into that. Uh, and another umbrella. Um, do you know what? Uh, we need a safe, I think, down at the docks, don't we? A safe would be good for the office down there uh, to help with the toothache. <laughs> Thank you so much, Graham. Oh my god, it has been horrendous. Um, Olivia, cool. That's a very sophisticated wrapping, isn't it? I like that. Uh, punky, definitely for Blala. <gasps> I do like my punky stuff. Oh my god, that'll explain the wrapping then. Oh, I can't wait to check that out. And, uh, oh, Kazar has ordered something directly from the store. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. Right, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's uh, get inside then and check out what I've got. Here we are with the items uh this toadstool umbrella is exactly what i've got here to protest against the rain which is inevitably going to start any minute um on my island because uh, i thought you know the polka dots uh, go quite nice uh, with this outfit uh but i am wearing the shell bag which i'm pretty sure uh, caroline sent me yeah yeah i am uh thank you very much for those uh i like the <laughs> <laughs> you sent medicine, Graham. That's amazing. I love it. And uh, yeah, very punky. Look at these boots. Look at these boots. <gasps> uh, they're, they're pretty awesome. Uh, and uh, I like that Caroline sent uh, a security camera. Can you see up there for the uh, for the docks? The problem with the security camera at the docks is uh, how are they going to get away with their shady dealings? Uh, I don't know uh, how they're going to feel about that. Now look, here we go. Uh, here we are. The cancer table DIY and fragments brina you are an absolute star uh oh hang on a minute that is so not the one at all that's the one we wanted yeah <laughs> um let's see here if we uh learn this excellent now let's have a butcher's here <gasps> gold nuggets stone and star fragments oh my goodness let's let's do it shall we let's get into look at this creatures has a new icon next to it isn't that exciting Ooh, we're gonna be getting into it we're gonna be getting into it now uh, but uh what do i need i need some stone peeps have been sending me gold you you you're absolutely amazing i don't know what i'd do without you um because it's not for the lack of trying me trying to get gold I'll tell you that much. It's not for the lack of trying. I really have been trying and it's just, it's having absolutely none of it. Right, so I've got those bits so that we can go and make that in a bit. Uh, look at this tiara. This would have been really great for my LaBelle costume uh, that, that Sammy sent. That would have been really great for that. It would, it, it would have been indeed. Right, uh, let's head out into presumably uh, the rain because it's now gone 10 o'clock and it looked like it was going to rain on the hour, right? Um, oh God, I really want to get into the summer stuff. Actually, while we're here look critopedia oh your app has been upgraded with additional information about the sea creatures you've captured ah, sea creatures look oh, we're going to catch loads of those today i'm excited i'm excited well my goodness it hasn't started raining yet but i feel like it's inevitable <laughs> um look let's come here a minute okay it's very breezy i feel like i should put a jumper on or something uh right let's craft Oh, I'm excited. Look. 
look to go with my collection i hope i can get one more of these cancer star fragments um for display oh yes oh yes let's actually head over to zeke because um we've been doing lots over at Zeke's and it's been a while since um, I've updated you all. First of all, let's pop down. We really need to sort out these uh, these plants, don't we? <laughs> let's place this, <gasps> a new one for the collection. It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Um, so, the this collection is slowly being displayed in here. I really need to sort out the lobby of this place. I really need to sort out the lobby. But I did lots um, with the wedding collection. I didn't show it all because uh, no one's got time for that. Look, the bug trophies are in here. Um, and uh, the wedding collection is being stored down here. I've gone for the chic look. Um, but it's all, it's all down here. Um, at least one of every item is uh, down here in storage um, I have spares um, because uh, these tables might be good in restaurants and stuff like that so I do have spares of tables and chairs and, and things like that um, and I have also crafted um, there's that there is that wedding thingamajiggy what's it called <laughs> fencing this wedding fence that's it i've i've even crafted some of those stuck them in uh, seek storage um so this is it this is uh it's it's all here um on display so this is uh good for the happy home academy um but yeah the the astrological uh collection is also being displayed here but i just don't think i've actually ever showed you i think it's in here um i think it is yeah look here it is yeah, um, so I'm slowly collecting it up and it'd be, um, I'm going to, I think, put each of the star fragments down here as well. Um, and I've got all the spare, so I need to get one more cancer one so I can display it in here. So hopefully um, I will get a clear night at some point. I'll also keep an eye on the Discord just in case I get lucky and everybody, anybody does have a, a, a shower. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to come on Animal Crossing every night for a while <laughs> until I get some clear skies. Because I can't imagine it'll be cancer for too much longer, will it? I can't imagine it will be. Um, but yeah, so that, that collection's building up in here. <clears throat> which is nice really like it pleased about that um and well, we still got the easter collection um out back and this this room's still empty and so is the loft space that's still empty um i need to deal with this area really don't i and it really really i should do something in my house just to get this last gold trophy because it wouldn't take much I just never do anything in in my house. Maybe if I just put a set in there, that'd be that would be really good. Do you know what I mean? Um, maybe maybe I should make the effort to get that last trophy. I might <laughs> I might do that very soon because uh, it's getting out of control. I've got all the trophies, but that one just because I can't be bothered to to do stuff in my house, which seems seems a little daft, doesn't it? Right, right then. Right. <gasps> I'm excited. Um, let's. Oh yeah, look. I I did catch a, a walking leaf. I like these walking leaves. They they've always been one of my favourites uh, to catch. And uh, I do really enjoy the cicadas uh, uh, being out and about in summer as well. I love the sound they make. Right. Let's go to Nooks then and see about swimsuits that it mentioned because it did indeed mention swimsuits. Hey, Agnes. Oh, hey, Ua. <laughs> what brings you here? What's the latest? I love how chill it is here. Like, you can sleep till noon and nobody even notices. Yeah, you wait. I'm going to be opening businesses for everybody and I will expect you to run them. <laughs> Everyone will have a job. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Um, okay. What's happening in here? Hello. Hello. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. Hello. Look didn't even know you could get these. I'm going to have to buy... I'm going to definitely have to buy this. In fact, shall I buy it now? A golf bag, yeah. Okay, thanks. Can we get other golf bits? Could we make like a makeshift golf course around the island? <laughs> Can we put flags down and stuff? Right, let's have a look here. <clears throat> oh, my favourite fishing rods in stock. Oh, yeah, and uh, my printed... Oh! <gasps> We have a horizontal striped wetsuit. Get in. That is amazing. Is there any more recipes? 
I think I think for now we're at the yeah we've got all the recipes they still haven't changed anything with those right three grand thinking of swimming yes yes uh, you'll most definitely need a horizontal striped wetsuit well before you head to the beach perhaps we could give you a few pointers about swimming swimming <laughs> I don't have any pointers uh, on your form unfortunately just the basics about getting into the water so first things first could I buy this and then could we talk about it so I can actually look at you you're just talking to my back it's weird uh, you'll want to put on a suitable wetsuit like this one uh, once you're suited up just press A from the beach or nearby rocks to hop into the water to swim around keep pressing A Oh, and if you see a shadow, you can press Y to dive and check it out. You never know what kind of sea creatures might be lurking. Oh my god, it sounds dangerous. <laughs> Perhaps you could bring one to the surface. Well, I think that covers everything you'll need to know. Do I need to wear the snorkel as well? Surely I need to wear a snorkel. So, back to the item at hand. It will be 3,000 bells. Would you like to buy this? Yes. Two, right? Amazing. Great. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Oh my god, you guys are the best. What are my turnip prices? Probably rubbish. Pff, pff, pff. Okay, right. See you later. <laughs> they suck. Yes, they do. Leave me alone. Uh, oh god, they won't leave me alone. <laughs> um, excellent. Anyway. So we've got a swimsuit. Exciting. Uh, oh, now. Let's also head to resident surfaces. Let's see if there's anything new going on over here. <gasps> Kix is in town. Uh, welcome, chum. Have a look around. No rush, no rush at all. <laughs> ooh, 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 I like all sorts. Uh, for right now... I'm going to buy these. All right. My rock and babooches comes to 560 bells. So you're buying? Uh, yeah, I'm buying. Uh, very much obliged. <laughs> uh, I appreciate your business, my chum. <laughs> Anything else you want to buy? Actually, do you know what? I'll buy this as well. All right. It's backpack, traveller's backpack, and it comes to 2,940 bells, so you buying? <laughs> I'm buying. <laughs> Very much obliged. <laughs> uh, I love kicks. It's my favourite amiibo figurine as well. I love my ki my kicks figurine. <laughs> I appreciate your business, my chum. Anything else you want to buy? <laughs> no, I'm going good. <laughs> you can hear that cicada. It's amazing. I love it. Right, let's pop in here. I can't believe it's not raining already. It's amazing that it's not raining already. Because, didn't they mention... Oh, they're not going to talk to me. Fine. Didn't they mention something about new things in the Nook store? Let's have a look. La la la, la 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 la. Look, yeah, five days in a row. I missed a couple because I was well ill. <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. Um, nook shopping. Bamboo grass. This is Japanese Tanabata. It's a Japanese thing. It's beautiful. Oh, look at it. As that wishes that they've put on it. I place order. I might have to get a few of those. Aren't they lovely? I've already got these. I love, by the way, this llama sweater. I'm going to be wearing that a lot. Because <laughs> it's got llamas on it. I'm um, assuming all that's the same. Yeah, I've got my posters. What is, the, is that? Uh, konnichiwa. <gasps> A leaf print wetsuit. Yes. Look at that. Uh, KK Adventure. Wow. Okay, excellent. I don't think I have the konnichiwa either. I think I'm going to order that. Uh, nice. Wow amazing okay i'm loving that bamboo thing i might have to order a few you know i might have to oh actually what about um 
just we should probably just double check this i mean it's probably all the same but let's just double check it it's all the same so it's all good it's all good it's probably all the same too i should really collect all these all the variants we should share them all peeps and send them all to each other oh my goodness so we have look a, a nooking snorkel amazing <gasps> and a nook ink wetsuit oh yeah okay yes please thank you yes i would ah. right we have definitely got all the kit at this point <laughs> no we're good that is good right Okay, let's head out. Um, the time is nigh. Uh, we seem to be collecting Nook Miles all over the place. Oh, look at this. We've got some Nook Miles Plus. Redeem Nook Points. Yeah, I've been doing that. Been doing that a plenty. And what's this? A access your wardrobe and change your look. I do that every day, of course. Uh, okay, good. Now, anything... Oh, shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxuries. Shop to your heart's content. We've completed this? <gasps> wow. That is awesome. So, Nook Shopping, we've bought over 200 items. I can't believe it. That's great. Bug off. Uh, what's the summer event to look forward to? That's right. The bug off Nook Inc. will give you... Nook Miles for participating. So by all means, join the fun. I can't believe I didn't, didn't look at this after the Nook Mi uh, after the bug off. There we go. We did indeed participate in it. And then Active Island Resident. Life on the island has lots of promise. Hmm? <laughs> to illustrate this, I'll award you some Nook Miles based on the number of active days you've spent here. Please take them and enjoy. Yeah, uh, I, I might be a little bit behind on that. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Wow. I'm so excited. Now, I didn't say that technically that we had to wear a snorkel to jump in. But um, I'm thinking we probably do. Now, first things first. Don't look at me while I get changed. Oh. <laughs> I can't hide it. I can't hide getting changed. Oh no. Uh, I... And do I have to wait for the Nook stuff to be sent? I do. Okay. Well, first, of, we're going to put this to the test. We're going to wear this. <laughs> I look amazing. Can I just say? Do you know what I might also do? Um, I might also um, go and empty my inventory a little bit and come back um, so that we can catch lots of goodies. Oh, my goodness. Look, everybody. Punchy's back there. We can't see him, but he's there. There's too many trees. Oh, look at him. This is super comfy, Firefly. What, the grass? It doesn't look super comfy. Not today, at least, because... I mean, the weather. Right, let's grab that. Now, this is one of the bugs that I've not caught. Um, that I've been leaving. Uh, oh. Pow! Yay! A grasshopper! Nice! Exciting. Oh, can you hear that? Is he on that tree? He might be on this tree, but of course I can't... I can't see him. We'll leave him alone. Oh no, he's there. <gasps> yes, he's back. He's back, everybody. Oh my goodness. The July things is happening. Pop! Nice! Yay! A robust cicada. Nice. Okay, let's clear out. Oh, what is that now? Oh, what is that? You're pretty. Ooh. An earth boring dung beetle. Gross. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Inventory is empty, although I am uh, collecting all sorts uh, today, of course, because it's July time. Uh oh. Shh. Be very, very quiet. Yes! 
This looks like a different one. It is. It's a giant. <gasps> giant cicada. Exciting. Now. Now then, can I jump off the docks? And I want to discover, do I have to be wearing a snorkel? Right, that's what I want to know. Oh! <gasps> I do not have to be wearing a snorkel if I get this! Hang on, right, so how do I, how do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Okay. Okay. How do I get out? How do I... Oh, look at that! That is amazing! Okay, we will, we will wear this. Oh! I just look fabulous, darling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah! Oh, bubbles! Bubbles, right, and then why? What? Oh! I look! I gotta see an anemone, an anemone, an 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 yeah! <laughs> anemone. <laughs> oh! Feels like it's going to be quite cold swimming today. <laughs> oh, there's a net. We're netted in. Nook is keeping us all safe. <gasps> what is that? A sea pineapple. Your move, sea pizzas. <laughs> this is amazing. I feel cold. Oh, look. There's some sort of jagged rocks under here or something. Look at that. What is it? Oh. <gasps> a jellyfish. A moon jellyfish. Now to find a sun peanut butter fish. <laughs> I know they've got these rocks. I guess that means you'll find different types of sea creatures and Oh, oh yeah. Oh that get it. A seaweed? No. Oh, sea grapes. Can't let these go sour. Oh this is Can we just swim under there? Oh my god, we can. We totally can just swim underwater. Oh. Yay. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> oh. A whelk. Look, we catch their uh, shells, but this one's actually living. It's still in there. This is Oh, quick check our phone while out in the ocean. <laughs> Let's see. What? Oh, deep dive! The glittering sea that surrounds our island is home to all kinds of captivating creatures. Put on your wetsuit, dive in, and see what you can collect to earn miles. See what I did there? Hmm? I, indeed I did. <gasps> oh, this is the bestest. Underwater understudy. There are still many creatures we are yet to discover at the bottom of the sea. Hmm. Uh, miles by deep diving, capturing creatures and filling out your critopedia. Yes, yes. <gasps> oh, I'm excited. Can, can you tell? Can you tell? Shrubbery hubbery. Ah. Oh, right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's, uh, let's swim back up. Swim back up. So, oh, there's a shark. Hang on. Right. How do I swim back up? Can I swim back up? What I need to do is catch that shark. Just go easy, everybody. Just go easy. Okay. Hello, sharky. Oh, look at how colourful it all is. You know, we've got that big, long tank that we've only been filling in half of. I'm assuming that we're going to get a lot of this going in there. Hello, shark. It's not that big. But still, it's a shark. No, it's the small, it's probably a sucker fish. Yeah, that's fine though. That is fine. Oh, this is amazing. We can 
like jump up of jump off of here, right? Right? Yeah. Oh, bubbles. <laughs> the net. <sighs> I mean, the net's letting sharks in. It can't be that safe. Uh oh, look what I've done. Oh, I see how I go up and down. Okay. Get it! Ah, oh, there's more! <gasps> well, okay. I'm going to swim around and see what else I can find. What is this? <gasps> Acorn barnacle! Excellent! Ah, oh, and look, there's something else over here as well. What is this? I'm now around the back near the um, docks, actually. Oh, a sea urchin. <gasps> oh, a sea star. Maybe it'll give me an autograph. <laughs> what we might do is pop back on land here and do some stuff at the museum because there's quite a lot to do at the museum. Uh, we'll just check out what this is. What? More of these. Okay, let's head inland. Where are we, roughly? Uh, yeah, no, that is what I wanted. Let's have a look. Oh. Damn it! So here, you can see the July collection has begun. We've got the sunfish here. And uh, a weevil. A weevil. Um, now, let's drop off some other bits that we've got here. Uh, oh yeah, we've got the grasshopper. Oh, look, it goes in like a little wooden cage. That is so cool. And these, I've been looking forward to the cicadas and grasshoppers and that because, again, these are going to be really good to hide around the island just to always keep the sounds going in, in sort of nature-based places. So uh, looking forward uh, to catching a whole bunch of these types of things. But for now, we need to catch them uh to go into the museum and then we need to catch them to make models out of them and then and then i can start catching them for other decorative purposes oh our lovely collection actually let's take that back is uh is starting there we go. Lovely. Now, I'm also interested to see what all these sea creatures look like when you place them. Let's place this down and place this on top. There we go. Nice. Okay. Uh, and I uh, love this big tub as well that the sunfish goes in. It's weird, isn't it? The sunfish. Weird. Very weird indeed. Right. So, yeah. What are these like? Can we place these down? And what do they look like? Yeah, look. Place item. Oh, they're just going tanks as well. Look at this. I'll turn the light on. Sometimes things do different things, don't they? When, when lights and whatnot's turned on. Oh, this is a bigger one. What? Ugh. We could put this on top of there. Place. There we go. Wow, it's all so colourful. It's all so colourful. Whoa. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. And sea grapes. Nice. What else have we got here? Oh, yeah, the whelk. Could make a good pet. <laughs> you could make a good pet. Um, ooh, the barnacles. Nice. And the urchin. Oh, he's equal. He's equal in a bag. And the, the star. Oh. <laughs> he could be a good pet as well. Oh. And then we, we got a whole bunch of these sea grapes. I might see about donating the sea grapes. For now, what we need to do is get all of this stuff in that I collected at the beginning of uh, June. This is not everything that became available in June, but it's a good portion of it. Um, I haven't rigorously tried to get absolutely everything. But we've got a good collection here. 
so let's uh let's get in there and uh, hand it in oh actually oh i also been meaning to uh a peep sent me this ages ago it's probably fake but we might as well check it out while we're in here that was my thinking oh my goodness so much to hand in we're gonna get we're gonna get into it um first things first it's been a while since we've spoken to Blathers. Um, oh dear, pardon me. Good morning, Blather. Welcome to the Peeps Room Museum. Oh, Hoot, that reminds me. I've received news I simply must discuss with you, Blather. Sea creatures and other marine wonders can be found off the shores of our very own Peepsville. Or, so I've heard uh, tell, any hoot, it is exciting stuff, is it not? Now, I do not know the precise whereabouts of said oceanic discoveries, but if any happen to find their way into your possession, I would be most eager to see them. <gasps> Let's give him one right now. Um, I found a sea creature, look at it, all <laughs> highlighted. Um... Uh, is that so? What manner of marine life might it be? My pin feathers are a prickle in anticipation. Uh, look, a sea grape. We've got a whole mess of them. This must be some sea grapes. Sea creatures are extraordinarily things, are they not? I wonder, would you entrust this marvellous marine find to me? Uh, it's all yours, yes. Oh, how wonderful. I shall gladly take up... No, I shall gladly take you up on your offer. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea grapes? Yes, please tell me. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Sea grapes are a marine algae that look much like their landlocked namesake. Uh, that is, they are green, pearl-like orbs that cluster tightly along water, underwater vines. And sea grapes, like regular grapes, are a popular snack food too, albeit of the saltier variety. Fans of the briny delicacy enjoy the way the shiny pearls pop when chewed. It makes one wonder whether sea grapes juice might have some appeal. Uh, Twould leave the drinker with sour grapes, I suppose. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Wow, he went on a bit then, didn't he? Jeez. <laughs> Right, okay, one with a veritable bounty of ocean wonders to discover and, of course, to display. Indeed, as of now, we have begun accepting donations of sea creatures. Uh, Tis a broad category that includes discoveries that are not technically creatures per se. Uh, but go see what the sea has to offer. Your enthusiastic, philanthropic participation is all I ask. Pfft, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Right, okay. Well, we'll leave the sea creature donations for the moment. Um, for now, I'd like us to get into uh, the June uh, items that I have here. So let's get into it. Rainbows are beautiful things. I'm sure we all agree. But rainbow stag beetles? Blah! Yes, yes, this beetle's back and belly shine with a pretty rainbow-coloured lustre. But that does not change the fact that this bug has large pincers on his face and loves to pick a fight. If one can wish upon a rainbow, then I wish to stay far away from the rainbow stag. Perhaps I've picked the wrong profession. <laughs> ah, the magnificent killifish. Did you know there are over 1,000 different species? My goodness, what a family tree to keep track of. My own favourite killifish species are the mangrove, which can live on land for weeks, breathing air, and the mummy trog, and the first fish ever brought to space. I wonder if the killifish you've brought me is related to either of those intrepid explorers. It would seem your angling expertise knows no bounds. This beauteous... Uh, arowana 
fetches a pretty bell, though I'd venture to say that its true price is beyond measure. Uh, the arowana is an excellent jumper. Some have been seen leaping six feet out of the water, eh, what? Alas, it has also been on the endangered species list for some time. It's up to us to do all we can to help preserve such magnificent creatures for the years to come. The angelfish is truly a beautiful creature. Just look at the elegance of those fins. Despite the name, however, these lovelies are known to be rather aggressive. They've no qualms about relentlessly pursuing fish much smaller than themselves. Why, they even attack their own kin. It seems no fish is safe around these angelic bullies. It makes one wonder who comes up with these names, appearances and names can be deceiving. I understand that frogs converse with fellow frogs through a number of varied calls as it were. Ribbit, my prince has arrived. Ribbit, ribbit, this pond is tragic. Ribbity, ribbit, I think you're splendid. Ooh, of course, I have no clue what they're saying, but I like to think if I practice enough, I might. The hammerhead shark is known for its distinctive hammer-shaped head, hence the name, uh, obviously. Anywho, this oddly shaped head allows the beast to see 360 degrees around itself from top to bottom. Uh, imagine being able to see so widely. You could check for undyed shoelaces and imminent rain simultaneously. As everyone knows, the mosquito is a vampiric pest that sucks blood from innocent bystanders. But did you know that only the females suck blood? Ooh, it's true. They need it to make their eggs. When they sink their snout into our skin, they inject us with a saliva that helps them slurp up their meal. It's that saliva that makes us itch and scratch, you know. Oh, so rude. The firefly isn't a fly at all. It is a beetle, you see, and one known for its ghastly glowing backside. This light is called bioluminescence, and it is caused by... by... A chemical reaction in the rump. Males flush about in the night sky to attract females while their larvae turn on the glow to put off predators. Speaking of their yucky young firefly larvae, love to dine on snails. Ew. The ribbon eel is related to the mori eel, though its bright coloration distinguishes it. It also has an unusual plant-like appendage at the top of its nose that flutters as the creature moves. Moves. I like to think of it as having an extremely friendly nose that waves a greeting to those nearby. I must say, the drone beetle is like that boorish acquaintance who is much too loud for polite company. That is, it is a large bug with a square head and is so named for the droning noise it makes when it flies. Furthermore, it has hooks on its feet that help it to cling tightly to trees hook feet. The sucker fish is a curious fish that likes to attract itself with its sucker mouth to large marine animals. The benefit of the sucker fish is that it gets to eat smaller parasites and dead skin of the host's body. Amusingly, some people have used sucker fish on cords to catch large turtles with the fish's own suction. I imagine this practice is the cause of some awkward conversations between fish and turtle, eh what? Oh, oh, the Goliath beetle is a colossal creature that can grow up to four inches long. Yes, they love to sup on sap and pollen and frolic among the flowers. But did you know the Goliath beetle has a horn upon its head that is used to fight its foes? And picture this. Each one of this behemoth's legs ends in pincers. Deep, calming breaths. As you might expect from the name, the saw shark is a shark with a head that resembles a saw. This unusual appendage is used both to dig potential prey out of the sand and as a weapon against said prey. Given that, it seems like a more appropriate name would have been sh uh, Shovel Sword Shark, eh what? Woohoo! So shiny! This massive fish's name, Dorado, means golden in Spanish, a fitting title. They are also quite valuable, I understand. I congratulate you on your top-notch angling. They are rather large, eh, what? It makes one wonder what all they might feed on. Fowl, perhaps? One quivers at the very thought. Well, it'll be safe behind glass, no doubt. Quite safe, who?
And there you have it. I can't help but think it's worth knowing. Right. Uh, Blathers, what the Dorado uh, likes to eat, given that you'll be keeping it in captivity and presumably you will need to feed it. No? No? Um, right. Now, there are a couple more. That's all I have uh, for the June stuff. There's a few more. We'll get them in time. Um, I'm not going to bust my gut over them. Uh, oh, it seems, oh, we have the beautiful statue, but it seems that I've left the other statue at home. That's a shame. I'll have to go and grab it in a moment. Let's see. What does he say about this? Uh, my feathers, is that a beautiful statue? Do the accent be? <laughs> hmm. It gives one pause to see a beautiful statue up close like this. Oh, what? Upon closer examination, I have grave news to share with you. Okay, it's fake. <laughs> That's fine. Well, then, I have plans for it. I think it will be nice to put it outside the museum somewhere because we do, of course, have um, a fossil. We have um, a model of a fish and we have a model of an insect. A what, don't we, um, outside? So, um, I think getting... Um, oh, it, it's finally happened. It's raining, everybody. It's raining. And now I'm not wearing my polka dot stuff, so it looks, looks a little bit weird. It's a weird day. It's a weird day to be <laughs> to be doing all this stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking this statue should definitely be out here somewhere. Uh, for now, I, I am going to pop it here. Um, but I need a better home for it. Might need to reconsider this design a little bit. Don't know. Don't know. Um, because I feel, I wonder, I wonder if Flick will start making models of the sea creatures. Um, oh look, we've got one that sprouted up there. Do you know, I'm getting these uh, Lily of the Valley absolutely everywhere. Jacob's ladders for days. Um, oh yeah, um, we'll go and get the other statue in a moment. But while we're here, um, shall we check the progress? Look at this. I'm yet to still um, decorate the outside, but as you can see, we have the uh, green roof intact. Um, I have lots of plans with this space. This is going to be an educational facility, first and foremost. Um, look, she still hasn't dealt with this stuff. Um, and I think that this space is going to be a large library, a public library. Um, and I think I'm actually going to pop Blathers home in this room on this side. Um, and to do this, we're going to be taking inspiration from the way Blathers looks. So uh, one of the reasons that the roof is green is because he has the green bow tie. But I also like the pattern that he has on his bib, which I'm probably going to make a custom one for his bed, stuff like that. Um, we'll see because I, I don't have a lot of uh, space for these sorts of things. Um, although I think custom designs for clothing, I've got masses of space. So that should be hopefully okay. Um, so we'll be doing that sort of stuff but also I want to take inspiration from um, when his museum was in that small tent um, I'm going to take uh, a lot of inspiration uh, from those times as well I will go back and look at my early episodes take some screenshots and 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 have a look at that uh, yeah and start building up a, a little house for Blathers and this is, will be where Blathers will live and he'll be able to look out this window at his uh, um, telescope that he has up there where he'll be doing his stargazing. Now, I think in this particular building, I'm also going to have Tom Nook's house, which we might put at the back here. And I think we're also going to build a house for Isabel over here. Um, I also have plans for upstairs and downstairs. They will be public businesses once again. Um, about, uh, I'm going to keep those to myself for the moment. Indeed, I am. Right, let's get that other statue to Blathers and see if it's genuine or not. Oh, unless I am mistaken, I am not. This is an ancient statue. Oh my, but it is so much more of an ancient statue than I could have imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honour. I shall also leave details about your donation for all to read once it is on display. Please do check back later. Ancient statue, July 3rd. There it is, look at it. Mac is also here to take a look at it. Um, Joman period dogu figurine shakoki dogu. I believe I pronounced that correctly. I do not know. Um, artist unknown, 1400 BCE. Fired pottery. A mysterious riveting doll made from kneaded unglazed dirt during the Joman period. Ah. 
Ah, its large round eyes resemble goggles that intercept light, so its name should come as no surprise. Shikoki means light intercepting goggles, and a dogu is a small animal figurine. Huh, it's very weird, isn't it? I like it though. It is unglazed dirt. Look at him. He, he, look at him. Come on. <gasps> He weird. I kind of like him though. I was thinking it doesn't matter whether it's real or not. If it's fake, I, I, I'm thinking I want him in my garden or, you know, maybe in the forest somewhere. He's so cool. He's so cool. Now we will be checking out um, all the things that I've donated in the museum later. But for now, I would like to do a load more swimming and uh, I can show you the spores that I've collected near the end. We'll check out the Critopedia. It's going to be amazing. Um, but that's what I want to do. Yeah! Now, I've been wondering if um, these might become a recipe item one day. So you know that there's uh, talk that cooking and farming is coming to Animal Crossing. These could be an ingredients item, couldn't they? Well, look how who we have here. So I've just got a scallop. I've got so many new things. I swear a lot of these um, are going to be for uh, um, recipes. They've got to be, you know, because it seems that we're going to catch them all quite quickly. But at least um, if they're parts of lots of recipes, we, we would have reason to keep jumping into the ocean and collecting these things up so I, I've got a feeling that it's, they, they've got to be going towards that but yeah Pascal oh look look oh, I haven't seen you in so long hey man about that scallop of yours can I have it oh okay yeah okay well thanks for your generosity man oh there you go. Since you were cool about the scallop, I left you a cool recipe in return. The pearls you need for that recipe are rare, but you can sometimes find them on the ocean floor. I keep my eyes open for them too, and I might even trade you for a scallop if I find one. Uh, forget uh, give and take. This is called give and give. <laughs> That's how we all win, you dig? Okay, now, if you don't mind, I'd like to lay some truth on you. The deep kind. Oh, feel this. Uh, Nook phones give you all those apps to keep you from ordering an entree. Right? They're filling us up on bread, man. Wrap your noodle around that. Yeah, today is a good day. Right, I think it's safe to say that was a bit weird. Mermaid Sophie, yeah. Okay, cool. A new collection of things. A new collection of things. We'll have to check that out later. I do actually have a pearl, so that'd be really cool. You can see I've caught all sorts so far. Spotted garden eel. I have this pearl oyster. Um, seaweed, octopus, mussels. I'm collecting all sorts. I'm having a, a jolly old time. I shall uh, keep on going. I do feel like this shouldn't be safe. <laughs> it's uh, later on in the evening now. Um, I'm collecting uh, many, many things. Um, I'm looking forward to having uh, a look through the Critopedia at... Uh, all these bits and bobs and oh oh okay what we need to do <laughs> see if we can catch him it's probably just a sucker fish probably just a sucker fish uh, <sighs> come on then no no sucker fish. Naughty sucker fish. Naughty sucker fish. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I've got red snorkel now. Um, I logged on as uh, Tilly and uh, gathered her post and she had a red snorkel in the post from Nintendo, so that was good. 
What? Oh, this feels bigger. This is not a sucker fish. It's big. <gasps> it's a sunfish. <laughs> wow. It's ridiculous to shove that in my pocket. Yeah. Shove that in my pocket. No worries. No worries at all. It's absolutely, absolutely fine to just plop that in your pocket. <laughs> that means, uh, oh, this has got to be an octopus. It's moving quick. What? No, scallop. I've got a good collection of scallops coming uh, coming along. Um, also, I did learn uh, that recipe. Um, t uh, Ten sand dollars, which I'm pretty sure I do have in stock. Um, and I do have a pearl as well. Um, I'm not going to make it right now. Um, over the weekend, I'll try and collect some more of those DIYs. And, uh, and we can check out uh, what I've got. Um, on Monday. I think that's what we will do. I'm going to have one last swim around. Uh, I can't believe it's still raining as well. All this time later, it's still raining. I have one last uh, swim around until I've got a full inventory again. Oops, overshot that one. And then we will uh, check out all of my finds. Here we are amongst my collection from today. Um, I thought what we might do is um have a look at the gritopedia because we have a whole new section now look sea creatures so we have here seaweed look um oh so seaweed is available a lot of the time eh and active uh, during all oh, hours look at that um we have sea grapes um not as available as often as you might think um, oh, look, sea star, I guess pretty common, right? Because it's available all of the time, all year round. Sea slug is the same. He's terribly cute. Moon jellyfish. Um, all day and night, but only three months of the year, look for the moon jellyfish. I'm going to leave one outside, I think, just in case anything ever happens at night time with that thing. It probably doesn't, all the same. Um, sea anemone <laughs> is uh, every month. And, uh, what, well, all the time. Look at that. All the time in the day and all of the months of the year. Um, uh, slate pencil urchin. Um, look at this. At night time, really. That one, I guess. Um, for the warmer, for the warmer seasons. Sea urchin. All day, but just the warmer seasons of the year, look. Uh, prickly little thing. Pearl oyster. Always available. Fantastic. Mussel. Always available, um, but uh, for the latter half of the year. Cool. Scallops. Um, always available. I guess that makes sense if these are the things we're going to be trading with Pascal. Um, Welk. Always available. He's pretty cool. I like him. The octopus moves very fast on the seabed. Have you noticed that? Very quick movers. Uh, we've got the uh, abalone um, here as well. So nighttime one, um, available most of the year. Um, weird looking thing, isn't it? Uh, oh, we have a gazami crab. Uh, look at that. A uh, later half of the year, all day and night. God, he's got a lot of blue on him. He looks angry. He looks, he looks all angry. Uh, what have we got here? Acorn barnacle. Um, all the time. All the time available. <gasps> a mantis shrimp. N always available, but only uh, in the later uh, evening times. Look, are, that, are those pink bits his eyes? Very weird looking, isn't he? I kind of like him though. Uh, sea pineapple f is available during the warmer months of the year. And then I've also uh, got the spotted garden eel, um, which is look, daytime. Um, so they're the ones that I've managed to collect today, um, and I like that some of them do indeed react <laughs> when you turn the lights on and off. I like, I like, I like doing this sort of stuff. Oh, that one doesn't. Uh, oh yeah, but this, this snake thing does look. Hey. Hey! What? Right, remove the seaweed. Try this again. We'll just about see him. There you go. He pops back into the into the sand. Ah, uh, you can see the anemone going in and out. 
Uh, these don't really do anything. What's I got the mantis here. Does he? Oh! Oh, what is that that he's. It's like he's broken the glass, isn't it? It likes he. It's like he breaks the glass. And then we got the, the crab. Just floats up. Look. Oh! <laughs> I like it when they do things. It's cool. Got some more insects throughout the day. A couple of different beetles and whatnot. So I thought what we might do is actually hand in. Uh, well, not the pearl. I don't think you can hand that in. But I thought I might hand in the rest of the items. I'm assuming you can hand in the the scallops. I'm not entirely sure. I guess we'll find out um, if we can hand at least one of those in. So yeah, the sea creatures are going in now um, because then we would have added loads to the museum and we can have a good old butchers. Um, although the July items will be uh, staying out here. Uh, while I continue to collect them. Uh, let's go on inside. Oh, do you know what? It's actually nice to be wearing something warm and now to be actually going indoors. Uh, it's pretty nice. It's, uh, it's pretty nice indeed. Hey, God, we've seen a lot of you today, Blathers. Um, so I'd like to make a donation. Um, here we go then. So might as well start at the beginning with the seaweed. Here we go. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I would like to, yes, learn more about it. Here we go. Let it be known that seaweed is a misnomer of the highest order. That is, it is not a noxious weed so much as it is a marine algae, most beneficial to life on land and sea. Seaweed, you see, provides essential habitat and food for all manner of marine creatures. And it creates a great deal of oxygen we land lovers love to breathe too. Ooh. And yet I can't help but shudder when the slimy stuff touches my toes during a swim. Hood the horror! Slate pencil urchins are a type of sea urchin topped with thick, rounded spines that resemble sticks of chalk. These urchins' spines protect them not only from predators, but from violent waves as well. Found in coral reefs, they're usually bright red, brown or purple in colour. For all those bright colours, one would think that slate pencil urchin to be quite deadly. But all those pretty colours, it seems, are just a pretty show. Ah, the scallop. It just goes to show you can't keep a good bivalve down. While most members of its family are known for staying put, the scallop is a nimble fellow indeed. When a hungry sea star approaches, the scallop can swim away by clap clap clapping its shells together. How does a scallop know when a predator approaches, you ask? Why, it has 200 eyes to see with. It makes one wonder what else the scallop sees with all those eyes. I fear it sees into my very soul. Did you know the mussel has a beard? Oh, it's true. Well, partially true, anyway. Mussels have a special gland that secretes a thing called byssus, or bisal thread. They use these tough beard-like fibres to anchor themselves to rocks and keep themselves in place. So you see, the mussel's beard is functional rather than merely stylish. Then again, perhaps all beards should be this way. Imagine, if you will, a land slug, but one dressed in frilly attire full of bold colours, stripes and spots. That is the sea slug, a gastropod that looks ready to walk the red carpet or perform beneath the big top. But these clowns are no laughing matter, eh what? Their garish colours and wild patterns warn predators to steer clear of their stinging, toxic taste. And that is how you dress for success, as they say. Do not mistake the acorn barnacle for a relative of the clam. Tut tut, mollusks they are not. Barnacles are cousins to crabs and lobsters, you see, though the family resemblance is hard to spot. Acorn barnacles may also seem to live a stationary life, what with being attached to rocks and such. But truth be told, baby barnacles are avid travellers, drifting shellless about the sea before settling down. Once they find a good rock to affix themselves to, they float free no more 
Which begs the question, do adult acorn barnacles ever look out across the open sea and long for youthful adventure once more? With its eight limbs, three hearts, and surprisingly big brain, the octopus is quite the wonder. It is also an escape artist like no other. You see, the octopus has specialized skin cells that can change color and texture with lightning speed. Thus, it can look for all the world like a patch of seabed one minute and a pile of rocks the next. But the deception doesn't stop there. What? What? When attacked by a predator, the octopus releases a cloud of ink and poof, makes its makes its escape. Let's just call the octopus what it is, shall we? The ninja of the deep. The spotted garden eel is a small eel-shaped fish that loves to burrow in the sandy ocean floor. These silly things are known for popping their heads out of the sand to nibble on plankton drifting by. Some say this makes them look like plants sprouting in a garden, hence the name spotted garden eel. But I think they look more like prairie dogs peeking out of desert hidey holes. Prairie eels has a lovely ring, don't you think? Medusa herself would be most impressed by the sea anemone. This pretty predator loves to wave its colourful, flowing locks around about. <laughs> but those gorgeous tresses are, in fact, deadly tentacles surrounding a hungry mouth. Triggered by the slightest touch, these tentacles harpoon victims with neurotoxins. The sea anemone then pulls the helpless, hapless prey into its mouth for a spot of lunch. I say, let this be a lesson. Never, ever make an enemy out of an anemone. Try not to gawk as you look upon this sea pineapple. Its peculiar look is simply one of nature's many jokes. <laughs> Though it, might, though it may look like a half-rotten hunk of fruit, the sea pineapple is no plant, shellfish, or even sea slug. It's a tunicate, what what, a fancy name for a shallow water filter feeder with a taste for plankton. It should be noted that the sea pineapple looks like a tadpole when it's young and can still swim about. Alas, its youthful cuteness wears off once it attaches itself for good to a rock. Ah, but let's put insults aside. <laughs> sea pineapples are full of water, you see, and I fear we're asking for a squirt in the eye. <laughs> ah, the sea urchin, the ab un ab <laughs> Ah, the sea urchin, the unabashed goth of the ocean floor. Indeed, with its mane of dark-hued spikes, it looks for all the world as if it might front a punk rock band. Perhaps its more demure relatives, the sea cucumber and the sea star, disapprove of its outlandish look. It would certainly explain why sea stars gobble up sea urchins every chance they get. But worry not for our spiky friend. Its venomous spines are an effective deterrent to many a predator. And then there are its sticky tube feet, which it uses to manoeuvre out of harm's way. Tube feet, I say. What will this salty rebel think of next? Ah, the moon jellyfish. What's not to love about this pretty floating flower of the sea? Well, I suppose its tentacles do give a sting when touched, but it's only a mild thing to the likes of us. Other creatures may not be so fond of this translucent beauty, though who can blame them, really? Moon jellyfish have stinging cells called nidocytes, I think, that kill fish and other small critters that float by. And they use their oral arms to pull those morsels into their mouths and stomachs. Indeed, one need but observe the moon jellyfish to see how brutal and beautiful nature can be. The sea star may appear to have five feet, but those are, in fact, its arms. And though five-armed sea stars are the most common, there are species with 20 or even 40 arms out there. Ah, but the fascinating appendage facts do not end there, what what? You see, upon each sea star's arm sprout many dozens of tiny feet. Yes, feet! They use these suction-cupped feet not just to move about, but to uh, 
grab hold of dinner guests as well. Finally, it should be noted that when a sea star loses an arm, it can grow it back. More impressive yet, a severed sea star arm can sometimes grow an entire sea star body back. And there you have it, that's grim. Whelks are sea snails that migrate from deep water to shallow water when the weather changes. Avid carnivores, they feed on worms, crustaceans and mollusks. In fact, these wily snails have been known to use their own shells to pry open the shells of their victims. They then use a rough tongue like organ with thousands of tiny teeth to lick their victim shells clean. You might want to put that image out of your mind when it's your turn to dine. Think carefully before you mock the mantis shrimp for its diminutive size. I warn you, it's itching for a fight. A pugilist through and through, this brightly hued fellow packs a punch unparalleled on land or sea. Not only are its forelimbs shaped like clubs and scythes, its arms are naturally spring-loaded too. Thus, the mantis shrimp's high speed blocks crack open crab and oyster shells with ease. And should you grab it with your hands, you might discover why it's called the thumb splitter. My feathers, but the abalone is a most deceptive sea snail, what what? After seeing its dull brown shell from the outside, one would think it quite plain. But take a gander inside and you'll see that the abalone's home is a shimmering beauty to behold. The inner layer of the shell is made of nacre, or mother of pearl. And who? What a dazzling, iridescent hue. Let this be a lesson. You mustn't judge a snail. You mustn't judge a sea snail by the outside of its shell. Judge it by the inside of its shell in instead. The Kazami crab may be better known by its more descriptive name, the Japanese blue crab. It gets its name from the blue tint sometimes found on its shell and legs. Its paddle-like rear legs are what help it to swim freely and quickly through the water. Of course, this Gazami crab couldn't swim quickly enough to get away from you. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Well, there we go. Wow, we have seen a lot of blathers uh, today. If anyone has been missing him over the past month, I'm pretty sure you've had your fill today. Jesus, blathers overload. Now, I'm assuming that pretty much everything that we have donated, although... No, there would have been insects as well. Do you know what? Most of it will be in fish, won't it? It's bound to be. So let's check out the insects first, because there was a lot less of those. I'm of this, I'm fairly sure. Of course, the museum is a little bit different at night today. Um, a lot of the insects go to sleep and stuff, so this may not be the best time to come and see it. But you know, some things are different. Like we can see, look. Ah, the firefly. Can see the firefly. That's nice. Let's have a look in the butterfly uh, place. It's been a while since I've been in here. It, uh, it has indeed. Ah, uh, see, look, the butterflies are much calmer. They're all on their perches and posts. Wouldn't the moth be here though? I'm not seeing the moth. Maybe the moth is. Oh, look, the frog is in here. <laughs> ah, the froggy. Uh, oh, good view. <laughs> good view indeed. <laughs> That's a weird one, isn't it? Ah. And um, look, the ladybird is over here as well. Oh, yeah, the ladybird. Or ladybug. People call it different things depending on where you are. Ladybird is what I call them. Um, from where I am, oh, the moth's in here. That sucks to be the moth, doesn't it? Still nothing in here. Fair enough. Oh, the tarantula. <gasps> the scorpion! <laughs> the scorpion is in. I am caught a scorpion this evening.
that's the third scorpion, so I can now get a model of that made. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's all the same. These ants are still here, doing their doing their usual thing. I was really hoping they were going to start crawling across the top and stuff, but no, nope, they never did. They never did. Um, oh, I wonder if all the new grasshoppers and things might make their way into there. Although there's definitely some of them outside, isn't there? Oh look, there's also a moth here for study. Oh look, mosquitoes! The mosquitoes are in here. And we've got... Oh, no. Do you know what? Those cages have probably always been up there and I've just never noticed them. That's that's probably what that is, right? Um, oh, the flies. Yes. Yes. And the ants going to the sugar coops. Okay. Um, let's see them. If we go back out here... And we can go back into the main area for the insects. Look. Oh look, look all these beetles and that, they're on this tree. Cool, this tree is getting really busy. Oh, that is so cool. Look at all these things. Oh. Ah. I love it. And look, Drago is here. <laughs> ah, the Atlas Moth is so scary cool. Uh, the tip of their wings look like snake heads. Freaky. Blala, uh, this is the bug you caught, yeah? Man, Blathers is really excited about it. Yeah, I bet he is. It is very cool. It is a very cool thing. Uh. Oh, look. I've got two of these now. <laughs> two of these dragonfly things. That's nice. Was this here before? This wasn't here before, was it? This waterfall's new, right? That's new. That's got to be new. I don't remember that being there. Uh, oh, we've got a beetle here. What are those things around this little lamp? We didn't catch those, did we? We didn't catch those. Oh! <laughs> we startled him. We startled him, indeed we did. Oh, hey, Drago. Drago, chaka cha Oh, it's nice to see more things on these stumps over here. This is nice. Ah, uh, will all these turn to stumps, probably, <laughs> over time? Uh, ah, the bagworm. It's the bagworm. Okay, cool. So we've seen a bunch of the insects that have been donated. Now I'm really excited to go and see what on earth is going on in the fish section oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness this is my favorite section of the museum the sort of the aquarium part um which is good because punchy comes here a lot too which i'm super excited about um oh, i still haven't got the guppies can you believe it we really need to get the guppies in here uh, but the kitty fish is in here can we see kitty fish we sit down with it kitty fish got the angel fish in there I kept angelfish once, and they really are just the worst fish to keep. They are bullies. He wasn't wrong when he was saying all that. So we got, look, there's a frog here too. Got a frog. I like, I like listening to the frog. Croak. Oh, we got tadpoles there as well. Oh, I like that we can see the tadpoles with the frog. <laughs> That's nice. I like it. I like it. I can take my hat off. Uh, given that we're indoors, we might as well. Anything new going on here? This is all looking pretty much the same, isn't it? It's cool. It's a cool area. But it's pretty much looking the same. <gasps> Look! There's amazing things happening in here. Wow. This is cool. It's nice to finally get some fish in here. Dorado. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. That tank is turning out to be something pretty special. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. This is getting some big boys in it. <laughs> getting some big boys in it indeed Quah. how do they not all eat each other that's what I want to know <laughs> surely they would all eat each other you'd totally eat each other wouldn't you 
You don't be fighting all the time. Oh, look at the sucker fish going around with that whale. That's what they do. That's what they do. Oh, look. Uh, and the shark. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. It's exactly what they look like. Uh, when I watch nature shows and stuff. This is, uh, it doesn't look like anything's really changed here. This is all, all the same. Looking good though. But it is all the same. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let's, let's get in here. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to be the other half of that, that tank, right? That's what I'm expecting. Oh... But look! Oh! oh, the jellyfish are all here. The moon ones. They're all here. And there's more in with the sea urchins now. Look! Ah! Oh, how cool is that? Oh, just at the bottom there. We won't go up just yet. No, we won't. No, we won't. Ah, oh, this is great. I love it. I love it. Oh my god, have they put a new sign up here because these things weren't in there before? Was that sign always there as like a little clue and just we weren't looking at it? Oh, oh look! Oh look! Look at all this stuff! We've got the seaweed up there. Oh, the hammerhead's in here. we got the little pineapple dude. Look, and we got the crab. Oh look, we can see octopus at the back there. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, it's on the it's on the glass. Oh, look on the rocks there. On the rocks, oh, we can see other things. More seaweed. Oh, oh. I love it! I love it! Ah, oh, look at him on the glass. Ah, oh. 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 that hammerhead is enjoying it. He's been trapped in a big tank for so long i bet he can't believe his luck <laughs> swimming around oh yes okay okay oh. oh my god i'm being spoiled rotten look at this oh look we can see the grape stuff here at the front oh look we got the mantis thing here too, and the the slate pencil thing is there. Oh, oh this is awesome! Look at the the snakes there. <laughs> Look, they hide. They hide <laughs> as you go past. Oh, the little slug is there. Oh, and the anemone, which makes sense because this is where the clownfish are. The clownfish like their anemones. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you to all my Patreons for their continued support.